this month we're talking about India, and I'm here today with my friend Priyali. Hi! Priyali, what do we have here for food today? This is a rice dish with chicken called biryani. And to go with the biryani, we have a yogurt accomplishment, which is called bundi ka raita, which has small little globules called bundi, which are made of corn flour. And there's yogurt and some spices and herbs. And I have some salad. And these are little papadums. These are um, small little, what would I say, breads made and dried in the sun. And then we roast them or fry them and eat them as accomplishment with our food. After Priyali and I ate, we sat down with some chai tea and discussed some things about where she's from, India. So I have some questions to ask you. So my first question, is how long have you lived in Canada? I completed three years this August. Mm -hmm. I could say three and a half years in Canada. What made you want to move to Canada? Oh, I wanted to have a change in lifestyle mm -hmm. and basically show my children a different kind of life mm -hmm. that one lives in Canada. And frankly, to get them away from a lot of competition and rat race that we have to face in India. What are the biggest differences between Canada and India? Well, there are a lot, lots of likelinesses and lots of differences. The differences would be weather for one. It's very extreme in Canada, mm -hmm. whereas in India you have moderate climate. Mm -hmm. And there are various provinces where you have extreme climate, where there's desert and everything. But still, it's not this cold or this hot over there. When you were a little girl, what was what was it like growing up in India? What did you like to do? What kind of things did you like to okay. play? When I was stuff? growing up, there was no internet. No. And there was barely any television. It was like one channel, which was run by the government. No. So it, I think it, you had programs only from a certain hour to a certain hour, like 5 o'clock in the evening to maybe 10 in the night. Mm -hmm and it covered everything from the news to the farmers forecast to a little program for entertainment for children to an adult film or whatever it was it covered every um, genre in one day and uh, it was usually black and white television so it wasn't really a very important part of our lives Mm -hmm. We were more into games and we created our own games. What and kind of games? Not video games, right? Not video oh. games. We had no video games. Oh. Yeah, and we had dolls and board games, but not, not very fancy dolls like you have these days. No Barbies for sure. Mm -hmm. We had those uh, plastic dolls that could open their eyes and close them on that. That was like a really fancy thing. Or if somebody went abroad and got a dancing doll that would rotate around with music, that was like one of the fancy toys. Hi! Hi that's <laughs> my son Parakra. Oh. <laughs> I'm filming right now. <laughs> hi! Say hi to my great trees. <laughs> so maybe you can ask him how his childhood was because that was pretty different from my yeah, childhood. Yeah, yeah. So what was, what was it like in India when you were growing up? Like it was, when you were uh, very little? It was crowded. It was crowded. Yeah, but it was fun. It was, yeah. Everyone's really nice there. Did you Happy guys? games and toys and stuff. Yeah, oh, kind of yeah, we were all big into cricket there. Really into yeah. cricket? How do you play cricket? It's, it's, it's sort of like baseball, but not really. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's a more, I don't know, more complex version of baseball, I guess. So how does yeah. it kind of work? Like, I know the bat looks different. Yeah. Same oh, yeah, yeah. Instead of having four bases, there's two. Oh, okay. Basically, yeah, and instead of like having strikeouts, you have only one chance. And did you guys play a lot of video games or? Uh, not really. I mean, somewhat. When I was about 12, I got my first PlayStation. So I got video gaming then, but before that, not really. That yeah, was because I was against electronics. Oh. Yeah. But otherwise, <laughs> children are big on video games of their now. Xboxes oh, and Playstations. Okay. And Were schools really big or like, what was school like? It's really focused on, on academics, mm -hmm. sports and other stuff. And uh, there's a lot of kids, a lot of kids. It's lot pretty crowded, kids. yeah. Like how many wow. classes would you have of one grade? About four to five. Wow. Yeah, 
like, four to five yeah, classes. Yeah. And each grade has at least 30 children. Wow, that's really big. I think, I think it was my brother's generation. He is around eight years younger than me. Yeah. 1980 born. So when he came to, I would say, grade seven or eight, mm -hmm. suddenly we had cable television coming in. Mm -hmm. And then we had the internet coming in. And then we had the video game parlors coming in. Yeah. So for his generation, there was a sea change. It was mind boggling. Yeah. And I felt back then, India was 10 years behind the West. Oh. In terms of fashion or development. It was like when my father came, came to Edmonton mm -hmm. in 1989. Uh, mm -hmm. That year, it was the first time I heard of a microwave. I mean, we'd read about it in some science journals and stuff. Mm -hmm. that such a gadget can exist and stuff. But my father actually cooked in a microwave and he sent us pictures, he got us back pictures and stuff. And I'm like, oh, wow, that world is so different, you know. But now, when I come from India, I feel Edmonton is not as developed as maybe Delhi or Mumbai because those are big cities and they have everything state of the art and everything's new. So you new know. as in like the last 10 years maybe? Yes. Oh. So today's generation cannot really relate to how I grew up. Interesting. It's so it's different. very different generations. Oh, yes. How would you have gotten around? Um, what kind of house did you live in? How big was your family? Did they all live with you? When I was growing up, the culture was of living in joint families. Mm -hmm. Because not many people went away from home to work. Mm -hmm. They chose to work in their own hometown or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they were not very ambitious about getting a better job and moving to a different city. But today, people prefer to go, like youngsters would go and start living away from their family right from, right after grade 12, because they go and they want to choose the best options they have for education. And because there's a competitive system out there, you apply to various colleges and you apply to the best and then depending on your luck where you get through, you move to that city. Mm -hmm. So it starts that young in age now, where after grade 12 you're going out of your home and living in a hostel or living in a rented house with other friends. And so people have started moving outside their homes to go and work or to study. And the culture towards nuclear family is more rampant now, rather than joint families. But still the family structure is very strong in India till date. Parents still have a lot of involvement in your family. They have a lot of say even after your marriage mm -hmm. in your daily lives or what kind of what kind of house did you guys live in? What was it? See, the houses are either they're like single units mm -hmm. like this or they they have apartments. All the construction's concrete because okay. it's not that cold. Mm -hmm. And even in the places where it's cold, the cold season is very short. It's like three months at the most and it goes up to two degrees or one degree at the least. But mm. because you have to live in a, in an environment that's not heated all the time, yeah. you feel more cold. So you have to be in your jackets even at home. Oh, or you might have to put on your hat and socks even at home because the houses are not heated. You would have an air conditioner in the house, but not heating. Mm. You would have a refrigerator for sure, but you might not necessarily have water in the taps. For that, we have smaller geysers. There's no furnace or there's no uh, hot water tank in the house. There's just a small little geyser in the... What's a geyser? A geyser is a small little uh, a tank that's fitted into your washroom or in your kitchen, just above the tap. And there's a coil in it mm -hmm. which heats up that much water. So it's... Oh, so it's like a Maybe mini. five liters. Of, yeah, it's a small tank. Oh, for heating water. It does snow in certain provinces which are closer to the Himalayan mountains, yeah. which is up north. But as you keep coming down, you get more tropical because India is a peninsula mm -hmm. and it has water on three sides mm -hmm. and land on one side. Yeah. So as you go closer to the water, that is the sea bodies, mm -hmm. it gets warmer, more humid, more tropical. And as you move towards the Himalayas, which is like on one side we have China, mm -hmm. Bhutan and those cold countries. So when you go closer to the provinces like Kashmir, Jammu and Kashmir or uh, Ladakh, mm -hmm. those are the colder provinces. But there are just two or three, so 
Yeah, so it's really not. It's not, not as that, cold as in yeah. Canada. Yeah. As a country, we don't see. If you want to see snow, you have to travel all the way to Kashmir too, or yeah. Ladakh to see snow. 